All right, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. If you guys are new, please subscribe. This is my channel here. Usually, I am posted a lot more frequently, kind of, but I have the K24 MR2 Spider that you guys probably know, and that's probably why you are subscribed to the channel. However, I'm here in SoCal. I've been here for the past couple years, back and forth through my hometown up in Washington, uh, since I'm in, still in school right now. However, I did pick up something, and I've had this for around two weeks. I've barely driven it, put on less than 300 miles on it. But I had an opportunity, and I'll tell you guys the story here, but it is another one. So, that is the car. Hope you guys are a little surprised. Maybe a little bit, maybe not. But the reason why I'm so happy about this is, as you can see from the color scheme, you're asking me, why is there a red top? Why is it, not why is it gray, actually gray is a pretty good color, but this color combo is a really, really rare color combo. Now in the UK, it's called the Red Collection. Some people call it the Red Edition. Others call it the sable gray on red. It's all the same thing, really. In the US, though, we did not get a specific red collection. Um, people still refer to it as that, and it is way more limited numbers here in the US. There were under 100 sold in 2004 in this specific combo, and in 2005, there were, I believe, less than 50 sold. Now, out of those 100 in 2004, and this one's a 2004, there were less than 17 stick shift models. And this is one of them. So that's why I was so happy when I found it, when I got it, because this is just not something that you see every single day. Now I'll actually post something on the screen. Here's an 18K mile version of this same car that was sold on Bring a Trailer. Now, this is obviously not 18K miles. This one has 79,000 miles, almost 80,000 miles. Still extremely low, but not the same. So I'm not, I'm not saying that this thing's worth that and it's not nearly as clean. But that car sold for around 24, and that was during 2021, so post-pandemic. It was, people thought that I'd be going for close to 30. That's why I thought so too when I saw that at the time but it ended up not selling for that much. Still a lot of money though. This one probably here, if I were to sell it, 79,000 miles, 80K miles, decently clean. I would say probably go for somewhere in the 18K range, at least above 15K, I would say for sure. I cleaned it up perfectly. Let me walk you guys through a little bit about the car and some of the imperfections. I wanna showcase everything, exactly how it is, not hiding anything like a lot of you guys do. I just wanna show you everything that's missing, everything that's wrong with it, and stuff I need to work on, stuff that I've already fixed over the past couple weeks. All right, so first off, the paint. Um, this part needs to be buffed out. There's no scratches, it's just extremely dull in that area. I don't know if you guys can actually see that, but it just needs a good wax. This car has literally not been washed from the previous owner. I'll tell you guys the story of how I got this car. I got this car from an older guy up in LA, I'm currently in San Diego. So that's around a two and a half hour drive, around 100 miles. Now, I saw it in LA, put a note when I was up there on the car in front of a restaurant, pretty nice restaurant, and I didn't get anything. I just said, nice car, if you're looking to sell, cash in hand, here's my phone number, name is Calvin. So I put on the note. From three weeks later, he texted me back and said, hey, and you're still interested in the car, I'm the guy with the MR2. I immediately texted him back, I booked the train ticket up that following week, and we booked the time, I told him, don't sell it, don't post it anywhere, I'm gonna go ahead and come up. Went ahead and checked it out, pay cash in hand. Now, I feel bad for saying this, but he did not know that this car was a special edition, 
and I got it for an extremely great price. Phantom Grey Pearl on red, extremely, extremely rare. So let's go ahead and go over what's wrong with this. Like I said, front bumper, um, one of the fog light bulbs is out, so I'm replacing all that with LEDs. Now, when I first got the car, these headlights were absolutely disgusting. I actually posted a photo here, and you guys will see that in the following video. That's the first mod video I did, um, and these obviously came out perfect. Just so clear, so I cannot be happier about that. This car doesn't even have rock chips or anything. There's maybe like five that I counted on this total car. Just needs a good buff and polish. She just had it in his garage, never washed it. He was undercover, so it really wasn't getting that much sun, luckily. So it's not faded or anything, except for the front bumper, like I said, that needs waxing. But these headlights were always the ones exposed and they got yellowed real quick. Not a single crack in the windshield. The only thing that's modified in this car is that he painted these OEM wheels gold or bronze and it's not my taste. Um, this door needs to be buffed out a little bit, there's some scratches in there. No dents on this entire car, which is absolutely crazy to me. He did tell me he had a PD yard before. Now in terms of the interior, got a couple pretty big imperfections I would say. This came with the F1 package. so. I'll post a photo on the screen. Usually it has silver accents everywhere, um, but this one has the carbon fiber accents everywhere. So what that means and what that entails is that there's these overlays, and these are not the eBay ones that you can get. These are the real deal. So gauge cluster, heater vents, HVAC controls, all of them, and of course the facelift rings here. Underneath is silver, you can actually see that right there. So, like I said, red leather interior, all stock, and the red leather door cards. Now, there are some rips that need to get reupholstered. The steering wheel that came like this, it's a little bit chewed up in certain places. But I just don't want to reupholster the stock one if it's okay, because stock is best, especially on a rare spec like this. There's some moisture, so I've seen this a lot on the black ones where they start peeling here. Um, so I might just try to heat it up and hopefully stretch it and, and glue it down like that and it'll look back to normal. Now, of course, it's a facelift, so it comes with a facelift headlights, facelift bumper, facelift vents, facelift taillights. However, I noticed that this car and this how I really told him or caught him. I said, has this car been in an accident? Because it was clean title, there hasn't been anything. There's a little bit of bumper damage on that side. But I asked him, you know, was there an accident? And there's a little bit of bumper side because it's not bolted down all the way. And he said, yes, there was something. He got into, someone rear-ended him and he never really fixed it with the proper parts. He didn't know that he didn't fix it with the proper parts, but he said at the time his dealership wasn't offering a lot of parts. So I located some facelift specific rear vents, the rear bumper vents. They still make them and they still sell them, they just don't sell it painted. So I bought those, snatched it up for super good price. So that's what's missing in the back. Everything else is pretty much perfect. That's pretty much every imperfection that, I can, that I've noticed so far. Um, and besides that, that's pretty much it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are excited for this little build, let me know in the comments below. Hit the like button and have some exciting plans for this. I do want to leave it pretty much stock. I already went crazy with my other one, so I really don't want to do anything too out of this world with this, especially because it's a nice example. But I am leaning towards paint matched OEM TRD kit and maybe some OEM plus wheels, lower it a little bit, and that's it. I hope you guys are excited for that. And if you guys saw this, this is just dirt. So don't mind that, the car's dirty. But other than that, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, and I'll see you guys soon.